Hello and welcome to this edition of Panther News Nation. I'm Eduardo Salazar. And I'm Kinsey Quitter. Here's what's happening around Principia this week. Homecoming received a big thumbs up from most of you this year, including some awesome HOCO proposals. Eduardo and I filmed some of those proposals and want you to vote for the one you think is the best. A QR code will be at the end of the proposals for you to vote. Homecoming is a yearly tradition most students look forward to. Each year, students see who comes up with the most creative HOCO proposal. This year, we videoed as many as we could so you could vote on who had the best. Proposing on Rich Waste stage got to take some courage, but Magnus showed us that nothing could stop him. Right there. Peter Parker traveled all the way from New York City to St. Louis just to get MJ to go with him to Hoko. And guess what? She said yes. Oh, so cute. No, she said yes. The cheer team is not just for cheering at the football games, but also to propose at the end of the game, where Ansu Carper was the star of the movie. Mario, the French soccer player, not only shoots at the games, he also takes his shot for Wendy and scores. How are you feeling? Oh, no, I'm feeling kind of, kind of stressed. Oh. <laughs> you got to help out me? Yeah. <laughs> Serena planned a personalized game and performance to ask Natalie to homecoming. <laughs> homecoming without you. Aww. And Rocco shot the first scene of his Hoko movie, which Bailey obviously approves of. Alright, Hoko proposal take one. Bailey, right. how does it feel going to Hoko with Rocco? Good. <laughs> Will you go to Hoko with me? Yes. She said yes! <laughs> Livorio not only had a victory on the field, but also with a Hoko proposal. We'll bring up the QR code again after PNN if you missed it. Be sure to vote. On the last PNN, we introduced you to some of the new clubs around the upper school this year. Now, Dean and Jake bring you this look at quests. They know if it is contrary to... Last week, we did a deeper dive into clubs and their impact on students at Principia. This week, we plan on giving you a more in-depth look at the introduction of quests. They are co-designed courses between faculty and students. And the idea is that students become more independent and more self-driven in their learning. You know, you spend uh, 12 years at school and you show up at a class and you sit there and you wait to be told what to study. So Quests hopefully is opening the door for students to be far more independent in their thinking and independent in exploring a topic of interest. It also just makes school more fun and I can express talents and learn new things that I never 
knew before. For example, one of my quests is creative writing. And I like writing, but I never knew how explorative it could be. And it makes me want to explore writing more and consider how I could pursue a job in it in the future that I never thought about before. All I know is those bathrooms are flawed. While quests are still guided by teachers, it is primarily the student's job to shape and outline the structure and curriculum of the quest. You know, we, we're giving students agency to create their own class, and the teacher's role is really to kind of be a guide or a facilitator. I would like to see students first have fun and really learn what they really want to learn, and at the same time, explore the unknown with me, because this is new for me as well. With the recent implementation of quests into our schedules this year, we hope to see the students take advantage of this time to become more independent and learn a skill or activity that interests them personally. This is Dean and Jake reporting for PNN. Remember, unlike clubs, you'll receive a pass or fail grade for your quest. In this week's Spiritual Spotlight, Mark and Sean take another look at how having a spiritual life director is shaping this year's weekly chapels. When you really want to define or create a culture, you want to celebrate it when, when people are expressing what your culture is all about. And our culture is about developing character, so obviously um, it should be and is happening in all aspects of our school, in all aspects of the whole man, but I obviously am able to see it when we're on the sports field and when, when you're on the athletic field, it's, very, it's challenges come your way in a very authentic way and in a, me, a very immediate way. So we can see people, and I get to observe students all the time, working through their character and how they respond to adversity, how they respond to challenges, and how they're manifesting that right spirit that Mary Baker Eddy talks about, which is all important to truly establish if you're winning or not. I really like that idea. And For this chapel, Mr. Warwick brought out students to give their perspective on the value of excellence. And although you can't see Magnus speak, here's footage of what he had to say. I think Mr. Warwick finds people who like he sees embodying these ideas to like help speak on their experiences. And as he says, like every time, there's more people, um, but he's not going to like pick everybody because we don't have the time to do that. So he's kind of just pointing out um, situations that he saw where like he did the core values and so like he talked about excellence and so he was pointing out where he saw excellence. In future chapels I think you know more people should get the opportunity to talk about their experiences. I've just been really trying to be in a mindset of giving to my team but I haven't really thought about how I was doing it really and so being able to kind of express what I'm doing in words kind of helped like make me feel better about like where I'm at as like a role model for the football team. Reporting is Sean and Mark for PNN. And in soccer, Principia continues its winning streak with nine wins so far for the season. Derek and Michael bring us some highlights. We asked Shepard Thomas how he thought the game went. Um, we didn't play our best. Uh, I was hoping for a better performance, but at the end of the day, we got the result we wanted, and that's all that matters. What do you think uh, like the best sequence or like highlight of the match was? Definitely Laborio's finish in the second half, or um, Edgar came up huge on a big save that hit the post. Um, definitely a man of the match performance from Edgar. What do you think we need to build on going into our next game? Um, definitely like passing the ball more, passing and moving the ball more. We need to work on that better. And just uh, our finished product in the final third, we need to put some more balls in the back of the net. This is Derek and Michael reporting for PNN. Our next game is our senior recognition game. This Saturday, come out and support us. With fall trips squarely in the rearview mirror, seniors are still reflecting on the one that will be the last fall trip of their time at Principia. Here's Derek and Michael with a look back at the senior retreat. Oh, it was so much fun. I uh, I really appreciated seeing you guys push through your limitations or like perceived limitations and then overcome challenges together and collaborate to help each other like have a fun experience but also grow through it all. And I felt like I personally grew as well 
just like you guys because we were like committed to doing like maybe f tough physical activities but at the end of the day they were very rewarding oh there were so many uh but i would definitely have to say it was uh when all of the uh flint house was uh propelled over the wall including myself and uh, Mr. I and Pippi and even uh, Mr. Allen, all of the students and all of the adults went over the wall. Uh, the last night, we were all, you know, dancing and talking and just having a good time and reflecting on the whole trip. That was definitely my best memory. And it was just, I felt really connected with the entire class and it was very fun and peaceful too. I think my favorite part is watching the seniors just hang together and just play and interact and start forming those relationships or uh, cementing those relationships that have been built over the last four years. Um, making sure that those relationships are strong, that the students get an opportunity to share with each other, not necessarily formally, but informally about who they are, how they operate. And so as you head into senior year, you are hopefully secure in the fact that these are your people for the year. You're all going through the same experience and you have a group of people who are supportive, who know what you're going through and there's a sense of camaraderie which is built. And I think that's the most important thing about the senior retreat. This is Derek and Michael reporting for PNN. And that's our look at what's happening around Principia. Make it a great week.